hey guys welcome back to the our course in the last video we have seen that how to add icon to the bottom tab navigation how to change the color of bottom tab navigation when we click on any item we had also seen that how to add gradient gradient background so let's see like all the things so we have seen this you know how to add a icon to the bottom tab when we click on any item icon the color will get changed we will also see that how to add this linear gradient background okay now in this video what we gonna do we gonna create a reusable header component we gonna create a header text and we gonna create a search input field along with search icon okay so these are the things which we are going to do so as you can see that this is the header like you know on the header we have uh, this icon and this goal icon after that we have another text and we have this input field so this all this is all which we are going to design this in our this video let's see okay so first of all let me open the vs code now you can see that we are at the home screen component okay the home screen and we are so signing with facebook so let me remove this okay so inside the source directory as you can see that we had created only screen directory now inside the source i'm going to create one another directory name is a component components components okay the first component which i'm going to create called header header.jsx okay and i'm going to type rnfes to create a react native functional export default style sheet uh, component okay now after that uh, let me render this uh, header component inside the home screen component so i have to import this component okay so i imported the header component and as you can see that we are getting a header component right now on the header component we have a two image the first image is like you know uh, the app icon and another there is one girl icon okay so we want this icon so first what we have to do we have to export this icon so i'm going to export this app icon as well as i have to also export this icon so we have to just click on this icon or uh, click on this image and after that we have to click on export so as you can see that we have exported these icons okay now inside the source i'm going to create another directory name is uh, assets okay and we have to just uh, drag and drop these icons okay so inside this i'm to just copy pasting this all the icons okay now let me change the name is called app uh, app icon okay and uh, header girl okay i'm going to name as a dp okay so we had imported you know we had downloaded two images from the figma and you know there's one more thing which i just want to add the figma link is on your description so you can check it out if you want to check that okay now uh, let's design the header quickly so if you see that we have a uh, you know this uh, header uh, this icon this image inside a, a circle so let's do that quickly so first of all what we have to do we have to add a view okay inside the view we have to import the image okay so i'm importing the image and we have to define a path source and we have to import the image so source require let's keep the path assets inside the assets we have called app icon dot png okay and i'm gonna write a style is equal to styles dot app icon okay now we can modify the app icon size whatever we want to give so if you see in this video in this uh, icon we have the height and width is 28 so let's give a height as a 28 height is a 28 and width as well as 28 okay now you can see that we had got the height and width of this okay now we also want to add this circle okay so what we have to do inside this view uh, we have to also add uh, some styling so i'm going to name it called styles dot app icon container okay and after that we have to let's write the styling basically for this so i'm going to write background color as a uh, this color okay this fff okay background color we have defined the background color okay as you can see that it's taken the whole with white now that's not a big deal 
we have to give, define the height and the width as well. The height and width, is, you can see that the 44. So I'm going to define height as a 44 and the width as well 44. Okay. And the border radius, I'm going to give as a 22 to make it circle. So whenever we have to make a circle, we have to give, you know, half of the height and the width. Okay. So as you can see that it's become a circle, but the image is not in the center. So make the image in the center. We have to write justify content center okay and the align items center to make it center horizontally and the vertically so you can see that the image get into the center after that you can see that uh, we had designed this uh, we have another girl image as well so let's add that as well so uh, i'm going to remove this header text and we have to import a girl image as well so a style is equal to styles of my bag so let's import the image quickly require not like this image source require and let's add the path and the db.png okay now as you can see that the height and the width is too height let's add a custom style styles dot dp okay so i'm going to style this dp as well so the dp height and width as you can see that we have to give 44 so the height will be 44 and the width will be also 44 okay to make the image more circle look so we have to give some border radius is 22 okay now you can see that we got this dp in a smaller icon but you can see that this is not this is in column direction so we have to make a flex direction as row okay so the container this is a container okay so let's add a container style it's style is equal to styles dot uh, container so let's write the styling for the container as well so this is the container okay so i'm going to write flex direction as a row so when i make a flex direction as a row so you can see that they come in a one direction okay now what I'm going to add justify content will be space between okay so they will go in the different direction okay so yeah that's all that's how we can make this header component looking like a wow okay to add this padding so basically to add some padding what we have to do we have to go inside the home screen and inside the container we gonna give some padding will be 20 so you can see that the padding is now looking well okay now uh, there's one more thing which i can add as well so we can have a line item center to make it look like a more center okay so yeah now uh, after that uh, we had designed this header reusable header now whatever place we need we have to just you know reuse this component whatever place we want uh, like whatever if you want this on the product details screen we have to just import this comma this component and we can use it this is how we build a reusable header component so let's understand like how we build it up first uh, we have a view inside the view we have a container so the container is like flex tax and row justify content space between and align item center to make it a center looking like a center okay now after that we have a app icon container in the app icon container i define the background color height and the width and the border radius and justify current center and i item centers to make the item inside make it center and you have to find the app icon width and height and we have also defined the icon uh, height and width for the dp okay so this is the header component uh, which we had designed right now so we have seen that how to design reusable header component okay now the next thing is that we have to style this major style okay so let's do that as well so I'm going to inside the home screen okay and after the header we have to type text and inside this we have to type this we have to just uh, you know select the text just copy paste that text match your style okay and what we have to do we have to style this we have to style this uh, the font size is 28 and the color is black so let's do that so we have to write like a style styles dot uh, match text so i'm going to name as a match text okay and if i scroll down we have to write like this 
uh, font size will be what the font size is 28 and the color is this flat so let's add a font size of 28 and the color which I want that is called uh, 000 now you can see that we got the text right but if you see in this video we have some uh, you know margin top and the margin bottom as well so let's add this uh, margin top quickly margin top will be 20 so you can see that uh, we get some margin but I think it still needs some more margin so let's add a 25 margin okay now it's looking better than the last one okay now uh, we had get this matches style text now after that we have a one you know search input field along with the search icon so let's design that quickly as well to design that what we have to do we have to write like this view and inside this view we have to write uh, uh, okay so we have we need what we need one text input along with this search icon so so I'm going to call this view as a styles dot style dot styles dot uh, name input container input container so there is one typo okay now inside the input container we're gonna have a two uh, element the first is icon and the second one is called input field so let's add an icon so to add the icon uh, let's go to the react native vectors icon directory react native vector uh, icon directory okay and just me open let me open this and we have to search write search okay so we get the search icon and i think i should prefer uh feeder icon looks uh, i think evil icons looks better and let me search another icon as well i think this font is looking well uh font so so i'm going to use this font so icon this is looking better to use this icon uh, what we have to do we have to do like this uh, let me do import fontiso from react uh, react native vector icons slash uh, slash fontiso fontisto okay now after importing that we have to write like this uh, inside the input container view we have to uh, font is so okay let's give the name and the name is search okay and we can define a size as well size will be whatever you want to pass for now 20 and the color whatever I want to pass okay so as you can see that we are able to see the uh, this search icon on this view and let's see what is the search icon color so the search icon color which is uh, something ccc so let's do that okay so the search icon color is this color and the font size is like you know if you see this icon size is called 26 so let's add a size as a 26 instead of 20 okay now uh, after that we have one input con input uh, field as well we want input text input text input okay and I'm going to call as a style is equal to uh, styles dot styles dot text input text input okay now let's quickly style this input container so let me hit this like this and like this okay so after the match text I'm going to write input container the background color is white which we want so you can see that this is the color the white so I'm going to give background color as a white okay the height what I the height is like you know almost 48 and some border radius is a 12 so so let's add a height as a 48 not more than 48 my bad the height is 48 okay and the border radius we see you can see that the border radius 12 so let's add a border radius as a 12 border radius is a 12 okay now after that which you can see that the search icon is not in the center to make the search icon center what you have to write justify content center okay so when we write justify content center uh, it doesn't work anyway 
okay so what we have to do we have to write align item center align items center if i write align item center it went to the this center so we have to remove justify content center just having a align item center okay now after that if you see the styles of text input so we have to make it uh, as a text input make it a uh, flex as a one okay if i make it a flex as one nothing changes so before that we have to also write flex direction as a row currently the flex direction is column way and that's why it's not working well as expected so if i just you know show you the by adding a border width so you guys have able to understand it better matter a border color will be uh, for now black okay so as you can see that uh, before like without applying the flex direction row is this is how our text input looks like but when we apply this flex direction row so we get this like this and the flex is a one so we are passing the we are taking the rest of the width okay now uh, after that uh, there's one more thing so let's add a styling to the font so as well style okay so i'm gonna wrap inside a view uh, and this is gonna be style and style thought icon container icon container okay and uh, let's style the icon container as well so what i want i want some margin horizontal as a uh, margin horizontal letter 20 22 or 30 it's too i think too much so let's make it 20 and i'm going to remove this border width as well okay so you can see that we are able to uh, looks good now i think it's looks so good if i make it 15 yep now uh, you know in the input container we want some margin uh, top as well so inside the input container i'm going to give margin top as a 10 okay i think uh, margin vertical let's give the margin vertical instead of margin margin vertical will be 10 uh, let's make it 20 okay now uh, if you see uh, we have a we have to add a placeholder text as a search so let's add a placeholder text inside the text input as well place holder has a search okay now if i reload this is so you can see that how looking matches style text okay so we have seen like you know uh, how to create this match style text we have seen like how to design this input container along with the search icon okay and after that uh, we have seen this header text we have seen the search input field along with the search icon so yeah that's all in this video i think in the next video what we're gonna do we're gonna see that how we can design this uh, category button and after that we will talk about how to design this product icon okay so let's summarize the system of what we have done quickly so basically we had created one directory name as a component header component and inside this we have a container we have an icon container like this and just having a some flex action row justify container space between align item center uh, all the properties okay and inside the home screen we are just you know calling that header component after that we have a one text called matcher style okay and we have defined some uh, you know font size font weight all the things and to make this input container like you know how we make the input container we have to find our input container and inside that we have icon container which we are giving some padding as well, some margin and after that we have a text input so you can see this is a text input where we had added some style so yeah that's all in this video guys uh, see you guys in the next video and design with this uh, category button thank you bye and please let me know guys if you have any question on the this course please let me know and if you face any issue any error so what you have to do you have to just open this uh my whatsapp uh, you have to just scan this using your whatsapp and just send me message on the group like whatever bug or whatever issue are you getting and if you if you need any guidance or any help just let me know thank you bye